Let's have a look at what's in today's box. What is in the box? What is in the box? Here we go. So this is season two, episode two. As ever, there is a, a note saying begin your investigation here. We will we will indeed start with that. Oh, I should have brought I should have put my table next to me and it is not. And there is, let's just say the remains of my dinner on there. So that is just going to have to. Oh, my. This is poor planning, poor planning. It's going to go on my laundry basket. Excellent. We have a pin badge. Everybody loves a good pin badge. This week's pin badge. Ah, this month's pin badge. It is the M symbol. So we're going to be investigating the secret society today. Let's find out. Uh, uh, we have a please do not bend uh, envelope, which I sympathise with its feelings. <laughs> yes, I do not. <laughs> Does that make us M people? Um, Zadster? That was meant to be uh, um, the the budum, but you could take it. You could actually, yes, I haven't. Oh yeah, I got the rim shot. Anyway, you could have that. Here we go. So it's just the one envelope this time. Sometimes there's lots of small envelopes, <laughs> and it's just the one. I can have a look first. Oh, okay. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, right, let let's deal with the boring stuff first. We've got a. We've got a. <laughs> <laughs> We've got an article from Technology News. Twitter twit, senior employee at top technology firm fired after Heredus Twitter mishap. Oh, hang on. After Heredus Twitter hat mishap reveals company secrets. Yeah, uh oh. Uh, sorry, just gonna. Uh, what was I? What was I gonna do? Oh yes, begin your investigation here. This is what I'm going to do. Here is what we got. Dear detective, firstly, we should congratulate you on your progress thus far. Your work could discover the organisation responsible for Timothy's condition is commendable. However, there is still more to be done. We've now received a package from Timothy's brother, Arthur. So this is what we're getting is from Timothy's brother, Arthur. Its contents are enclosed. Hopefully working closely with Arthur, you can discover how to help Timothy. Kind regards, the Detective Society. So that's... So, so, so he has sent us this. So technology news... Uh, we have, ooh, lots of things. Uh, a monthly statistical report, voting pattern of US senators. Ooh, okay. Uh, imp information about Aiki Takuma. Uh, hello, detective. Uh, a letter from Arthur, so I will uh, deal with that in a second. Proud supporter of Senator Crawley. Uh, we have... An envelope with more things in from Jella. Hi, Jella. Hi, Jella. Uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, two more things. We have a rosette. <laughs> Vote Crawley for Senator. Citizens of Maine, we need you. Vote Crawley for Senator. Citizens of Maine, we need you. Sponsored by TrendyVoting.com. Uh, is there? Yes, I'm a proud Crawley voter, he says, uh, putting that rosette immediately on. Because you have to. Have to. It is the law. And finally, we have a pass on a lanyard. It says, Temp Staff Global Staff Identification Card, Mr. Paul Albrecht, or Albrecht, temp worker with an ID number, join date, nationality German, specialism security, and I have remembered to check the back. There is a QR code on its back. So that will probably come into play. So how do I put you back in? Why don't you fit back in the card holder? There we go. So... Dr. Mummy, I've seen your tweets. I've seen your tweets. We will talk later, okay? We will talk later. So, that is all the things that I've got. Let's start with this letter from... Where did I put that? With, that? Uh, with uh, the letter from Arthur Lee. Thank you for helping Dr. Fishman discover that Mobius Inc. So that is what... What is uh, this M symbol? What's behind, uh, what's behind what's happened to Timothy? But I'll be honest, it's left me with more questions than answers. If we're going to help Timothy, I'm going to need you and your investigative skills. Of course you are. 
He hasn't watched any of the previous streams, has he? We know that there are five people, including Timothy, in an identical condition around the world. Since the last box you received, I received a message from my parents. If you've not already seen it, you can do so here. Okay. So that, uh, that, that actually leads to a puzzle. Hi, Minket. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so that's, uh, that leads, you could go to debtsock.com forward slash Timothy parents letter, should you want. Uh, there is a puzzle there, uh, and it leads, it, it's a, it's a Cody sort of puzzle, so if you like code puzzles, it's, it's, uh, sorry, it's in, um, computer coding. Uh, it's, qu it's quite good. I haven't had the time to decipher it, so. Once it was deciphered, the message shot me to my core. It's pretty obvious they are involved. My mum is very secretive about her work. She doesn't know that I know this, but she is quite a famous hacker. She's worked for some very dubious organisations, and I'm very worried Timothy's condition might be related to this somehow. Because of these suspicions, I decided to do some digging into the, pa the parents of the four other patients. With the help of Dr. Fisherman, I've been able to find out some information about those parents, which I have included. But I still don't know everything about them. Perhaps you could try and answer the questions that I've noted down on the enclosed emails. Um, okay, so that that's this, that's that site, that's where, okay, fine. Email me about each of the parents when you obtain the information. I've got a new email address, arthurd at mailzilla.co.uk. Okay, nothing on the back. Always check the back. So what we need to do is we need to email him with the with the four what's what what the four parents are of the other people who have who are in the same condition so we've got information about Aimee Takuma, Madison Crawley, Ruby Bridges and Toby Albrecht now Toby Albrecht of course is the person well this is Mr Paul Albrecht on this in fact I can even bring that up in a uh, let's uh, let's bring you up. Uh, there's Mr. Paul Albrecht. That is his. Uh, that is his card, and it's got a QR code on the back. So, same name there. That's quite interesting. So, let's deal with Dr. Hina Kobayashi to Dr. Andrew Fishman. Uh, thank you for getting in touch. With us here at Hirosaki General Hospital, we're very concerned about our patient Taiki Takuma and look forward to the results of your investigation. Here are the answers to your questions. Patient name, date of birth, hometown, Hirosaki, Japan, parents' names, Matushima and Yumi. Additional information, Yumi Takuma, uh, sorry, uh, Amy, I, uh, is it Aimi? I do see you, Aiden. Sorry, sorry. I saw that, and then I got I got sucked into the letter that I was reading. I uh, do apologise. Hello, you. Good evening. Um, Amy has little contact with her father since the death of her mother two years ago. They live roughly two miles apart on the outskirts of the city. We are at your service. We'll give you any information you need to get to the bottom of this case. That's Hirosaki General Hospital. Fine. Uh, Madison Crawley. Hi, Dr. Fishman. Lovely to hear from an international colleague. Isn't this a bizarre situation? I mean, I have no idea what's going on with this patient. Anyway, here are the details. Patient name, date of birth, October 30, 2000. There are the parents. Now, the parent is Senator Jennifer Crawley. She of the vote Crawley for Senator, one assumes. Uh, I will actually... I'm going to take this off just simply because uh, I want to show you the rosette in close-up. And it's either unpinning it or stripping. And sadly, one of those two violates Twitch's terms and conditions. There we are. So we've got a rosette here. Let's just bring that rosette up. Here we are. Vote Senator for Crawley, sponsored by TrendyVoting.com. Lovely shade of green there. Now, uh, the thing that then is in uh, the... I do check the other side of the pages. Yeah, okay. Voted strangely on any bills recently. Okay. Information about Ruby Bridges, Clem Hill, Canberra. Good day. Oh, it actually says good day. <laughs> uh, patient name is Ruby Bridges. Parent is Janine. Magazine article: Twitter scandals. So that was the the article for twit from Twitter. What company did she work for? So we need these are the questions we need to be answering. It isn't it? The what the, the stuff that is being circled. 
So what company did she work for? We need to work out that. And finally, uh, Toby Albrecht, dear Dr. Fishman, Hanover, Germany. Uh, Toby and his older sister have lived with their father since their mother moved out. Hard to find anything interesting on Paul. So this is the Paul Albrecht is the parent. So we have his card. Works for a temp agency. Where will he be working for for the next few months? Good news, everyone. Hey, yeah, good evening, Scott. It's it's the Dr. John Watson to my Sherlock Holmes. It's Scott. Good evening, Scott. How are you doing? Hi there. Oh, you're using a different mic for the side stream. That's fine. Uh, oh, uh, OK. Yes, yes, I probably am. But anyway, that's uh, all right. Let's. We'll get into it. How? What have you found? What have you learned? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to burst in and have to do a recap, but yeah. You are very much like the Kool Aid Man. This is true. Uh, uh, we found an identification card, and we're just going through emails at the moment uh, and just working mm -hmm. out what we need to work out. So we need to work mm -hmm. out the answer to these questions. What is the name of the company that uh, that he owns? I assume that's it's not I'm Amy because that's a girls so that is Mat matsushima M sorry mm -hmm. Mat Mats matsushima is that how you say that mm -hmm. matsushima. Yep, matsushima uh mm -hmm. what's the name of the company he owns so we need to find out we need to find out has jennifer crawley vote for senator uh mm -hmm. has she voted strangely on any bills recently what company mm -hmm. did janine bridges work for and uh and where will paul albrecht be working in the next few months. So let's take that all in one go. There is there are a couple of things that mm -hmm. I've yet to open. There is this letter, proud Senate supporter of Senator Crawley. I think we'll deal with that when we get to her. Mm -hmm. And there's also this uh, Jella envelope. I don't know whether mm -hmm. to open that now or wait until something makes it clear that I need to look into it. Right. And and for context, these are these are the four other patients that were in that deep coma i believe Abs or absolutely or... some unexplained right. coma they're unresponsive and, so. and uh, we're looking into mm -hmm. is there a connection between the parents okay so yeah. who are you looking at first i think we should look at amy because it's the top page on this stapled piece of work amy okay <laughs> amy is it our uh, amy sorry thank you mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what is the name of the company he owns matsushima mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so is that going to be... Is so it... what do you have about Tokuma? Um... Tokuma. Uh, so the Tech Weekly stuff is the Twitter one. That's a different parent. Senator mm -hmm. Crawley, different parent. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the, the, the rosette. The pattern, voting patterns of US senators. That is someone else. So I'm thinking I need to open this envelope. Okay. So let's do that. Exciting. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. And then and then being inevitably disappointed by the presents you open. Oh. Let's <laughs> uh, yeah. not down. I'm never disappointed with this. No, Ooh, you should never be disappointed. Lots of things here. Hi, Arthur. Thank you for your... Thank you for requesting documentation from the Japanese English language law archive. Strangely, there is very little documentation for the case you requested information on. It is quite recent, so I would imagine maybe that's why. There is one document I managed to find, but it seems to have been very badly photocopied. I doubt it will help you, but I have included it anyway. If any more documents come in, then I will send them your way, Chiko Takeuchi. Okay. Yes, so we have, uh, we have a very, oh my goodness, a, a, <laughs> a very long document, uh, as you can see. So it's five pages of a ridiculous amount of text. Okay, so I'm just going to read the summary. It's a court case, Aomori District Court, Hirosaki Court 3. Um... So versus Matsushima Tokuma, who is the defendant. So the the person we're interested in was the defendant. So if they're being by not sure who they're being defended. Uh, sued by Fujihara, maybe henceforth known as the company. Um, doesn't say here. Defendant objected to plaintiffs. Uh, Article three five five. The plaintiffs sought combined compensation hearing for this case. Okay. Um, hmm. 
is a lot of text, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You should read some of it. I know. I don't know whether to read the introduction or skip to the conclusion. I'm going to look, read the conclusion because it's three lines. The defendant's objections are you, sustained. Just read, read, read the first line of the introduction, at least. M- uh, Mimi Mazako and Hanamura Jizaburo and Matsushima Takuma, the defendants, they're all the former directors of the company being appointed as directors in June 2008, February 2010, and August 1998, respectively. The plaintiffs allege that while director of the company, the defendant acted without a duty of loyalty to the company in direct contravention of part two of the Companies Act. The plaintiffs allege that the defendant carried out the following actions. One, did not renew the contracts of 750 key designers, engineers, programmers and other staff members. Two, informed the press that the division had collapsed, leading to the company's share price to drop by 99.65%. That's many percent. On the day before the defendant's interview, each share was worth 141,000 yen. Afterwards, it was 500. Big drop. Each of the plaintiffs held 16,000 shares in the company. Three weeks later, the company filed for bankruptcy. It is the plaintiff's assertion that the actions of the defendant were disloyal to the company. Based on these allegations, the the complaint uh, asserts the following courses of action. One, disqualification of the defendant from holding the position of a company director for 10 years. And two, remuneration to the, oh my goodness, 2.25 billion yen. Many yen. The defendant obviously objects to all of this. He states he did not renew these contracts, believing that the company's AI division could be improved by the hiring of new staff. In the case of the latter, he says that he was merely replying honestly to a direct question and that the alternative would have been to lie. So therefore, it is his argument that the actions themselves do not meet the legal threshold for um, being disloyal towards the company. Okay, so... Lots of money at stake. Uh, what is the... Um, so a yen is about a cent. Okay, so divide by 100, roughly. So, I mean, still, going from a share uh, that was worth over 1,000 to just $5 is a lot. And 2.25 billion, that's still many, many million. Okay. Um, the ruling says... So I can look at the legal standard... Just going to quickly skip to the conclusion. Uh, due to the absence of evidence that the defendant's actions demonstrate he further duty, uh, it is the court's decision that the defendant did not act in contravention. Therefore, the defendant's objections to the complaint are sustained. So he was he was acquitted of it. Um, so he he uh, did not have to pay up two point two five billion yen. Okay. Uh, so, aha, uh-huh. if we look up here, there's Fujiwara Horitsu, as, uh, and there's something here, Soshiki. Um, I don't know where to go with this. Do I just keep on reading? I guess I do. There's a lot of reading here to please bear with. Uh, legal standard. In Haikin Takina Computer versus that. I've been a director of a software company for less than a month, joining them in a rival company, Yeah, Joho. It's put in charge of demonstrating that new data analysis software before potential buyers at an exposition in San Francisco, USA. At the event, the software he was demonstrating failed, leading Mizuki to tell the assembled buyers that you don't need to be data you don't need to be data in data analysis software to know that our software is incapable of analysing data. And that if, you, if you're if you not a complete idiot, you should purchase software from Yo Joho. Well, that's going to go well. In upholding that complaint, the presiding judge found that Mizuki's actions constituted a knowing failure in the forms of his duties. Therefore, he'd acted without the duty of loyalty between that company. Okay. So that's the legal precedent, is it? These are all previous cases. Okay. Uh, I'm sort of skimming these other lines. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what is the name of the company? Ah. uh, Henceforth known as the company. So Uh there's lots of these. If we take a look at the outside, there's Kaisha. There's 
uh, jujutsu something or other. Uh, okay. There's these. So we're going to have to match up these. Is it kanji? Is that the correct term? Or is it katakana here? Mm -hmm. Better than I will. Uh, it, would be, it would be kanji, but kanji. you also have to remember... You also have to remember that uh, not every not every logo is correct. Remember, you have, if you look at the conclusion, yeah. DC, note the conclusion. The defendant's objection sustained entirely. Thirty days in his order and to file an app from the records of the law firm Fujiwara something or other. So that's right. So certainly Fujiwara Huritsu, based good. on so, the shape of that. So we know that that is the law firm. Which and is not what you're looking for. It is not the company. Good. So we know it is not that one. I'm mm -hmm. going to very likely cross over it with a pencil when I can find my pencil. I, of course, I laid everything neatly out and then I put everything on top of it. So we know it is not that. So we've got a sos, sos, soshiki. Uh, possibly... Jujutsu Soshiki. I'm so sorry that I cannot say these things. Uh, so there's something here that says Fujihara as well. So that's different to Fujiwara. So regarding Fujihara, so we know it's not Fujiwara or something. We know it's Fujihara something because they are henceforth known as the company. Um, so we know it's either going to be Soshiki or Jujutsu or... Okay, so we've got this. Is it, it, it? What we have is a jigsaw puzzle, as a couple of people have now put it, uh, have said. Uh, the one page with five kanji symbols tell you how to fit stuff together. I'm quite possibly uh, it would go this way round. Wouldn't? No, nope, no, nope, go this way round. Um, uh, and that symbol here does look like this symbol. So that goes there. So that looks like what we need to find. So we know that this is Fujihara, but we now need to find out what does this stand for? That's mm -hmm. what we need to do. Good. We're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, we've got something here that says Kaisha. Could be useful. Uh, we know that Jiutsu, Jijutsu, these symbols here match. These symbols here mm -hmm. match. So I'm going to write it here. Gijutsu. Gijutsu. Uh, sorry. Gijutsu. Thank you. I'm glad you're here because you are useful for this sort of thing. Gijutsu. Thank you. So Fujihara, Gijutsu. Mm -hmm. And now whatever is this. <sighs> so we've got that is a potential aunt. That, that is potential thing. Uh, mm -hmm. It fits in the right. It, it's got a U at the end of it, and it fits. At the, it, the border fits, so we know that that is the last word of a company. Is it that one? Um, I see. It, 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 the, or it's. It's either that uh, he says trying to get them on the same page. So it's either sos, soshiki or kaisha, but we know that that one's got a U. Um. Is there any way to rule either of them out? There must... Is there? I don't think there is. Oh, there's got to be. There is. Uh... Uh, I'm just looking at all the... I appreciate this is a bit of a jumble. <laughs> uh -huh. um... So, on this page where we have... The, the start of something is is this relevant or is that the court that's uh, just going to be the that, court isn't it that, that's well yeah that's the personal signature of the court system of yeah. the judge involved specifically um there is one thing the chat i mean the chat's back salted that's good minket has back salted correctly oh hi minket oh Hello. it's been a while since i've seen you so welcome um there is one thing you haven't done correctly um you know, I'm going to give you 60 seconds more. The chat hasn't spotted it yet. Oh. Yeah. Cheeky. There is a right answer. Uh, oh, un undoubtedly. Um, 
Uh, I notice that the border is a thin line and a thick light. Something I haven't done right. So, mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, technically, it's a jigsaw in that this is the legal standard, which is page, whichever page it was. There's a D up here, filed clerk of the court. I'll give you 30 seconds. Good luck. Ah! And then there's that, which is upside down on this page. Is it... Ah! Oh. And the, is it something to do with the 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 base? It's not a jigsaw puzzle question. Okay. What it's a topology. I... It's a topology question. Ah, okay. So one of these is physically impossible to be the thing. So we know that the company, the logo is based on page one. Mm hmm. So, if, so I need to be able, to, I need to find sort of what page, if, if I can prove, yeah, it's I'll, proving, I'll just, the, I can't there is. It. All right, I'll, I'll call time just because it's, we'll just move on. Um, the company logo only appears in one place, yeah. which is on the front page. Yeah. How can Geisha or Kaisha be on that same page? Be on that same photocopy ah, on a yeah, different that's page. So obvious. Because <laughs> that, it's on it's on a different page in the poorly photocopied stack. Yes. So, so we no, it isn't that. I've actually lost the the page that I'm looking for. So therefore, it yeah. isn't Kashi. So it is Soshiki. Correct. So we know now that it is Fujihara Gijutsu, Gijutsu Soshiki. We know that that Correct. is the name of the company. Do we that email the these all in one go, or do we do it separately? I, I, think, I think it said I could do it all yeah. in one go. Uh, yeah, sorry, you, separately. You can get it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's go yeah. to my detectiving thing. Uh, find. Email me about each of the parents when you obtain the information. I've got a new email address. Yeah. Arthur D. Yeah, they, they could have been folding and all that, but they just, you couldn't, since it's only written one, it can't be in two different places on the same photocopy. That's the, so no matter how bad the photocopy is, that was still the way out. So company yeah. is Fujihara mm -hmm. Kijutsu mm -hmm. Soshiki. And I will the first uh it's the first time i've had a, a space between yeah For, first time i've ever had a uh a topology question in one of these things <laughs> okay let's see what uh arthur says about that then shall we come on arthur you're taking hours to respond parent one hi there right Amy Takuma's father calls his company to go under. Why would he do that? Anyway, why don't you leave that with me? Go look at another parent and see what you can find. Yep, yeah, I, I can. Arr. Let's mm -hmm. do that. So that was... I could put, I'm putting that away, or at least I'm putting it out of arm's reach. It's probably a bad idea. Do you, Let's... Do you have a post-it? Yeah, just in case, you just to, so that you know the four answers, right? Um... This is a, a pleasant idea. <laughs> um, uh, what can I write on that isn't? I've got everything has got sensitive information around my desk at the moment. Whoop, there we go. I should have written that down better. Uh, let's just go back to my inbox. Uh, actually, the sent box, just so that I can write that down. Okay. As long as you have a way of just making sure you know this stuff. Okay. It's this is just a useful heads up. Uh, uh, there is, there is, there is a Reddit link. The Reddit link appears to just be no posts. So, okay, that is that. Let's take a look at Madison Crawley. Vote for Crawley. I've lost my rosette and everything. Oh no, here it is. It's fine. So, voted strangely on any bills recently? Question mark. That is the next question. So here we have proud supporter of Senator Crawley. Got a little rosette here sponsored by TrendyVoting.com. So we're going to have a quick look at TrendyVoting.com. Let's have, is that a thing? 
Uh, let's have a quick look. Oh my. Censors vote nay on Dolphin Lifeguards Bill. <laughs> State secrets found in Capital Burger. And Progressive Party says yay to environment. That is the six o'clock news. Um, the Senator Trend Detector here at Trendy Voting. We're all about making sure that your senators don't lie to you. You voted for them because of their ideals and morals. So we created the perfect lie detector. Want to see if your senator behaved unexpectedly? Voted with their wallet instead of their morals? Then, then we have the tool for you. I feel like we're going to be using that. I feel like we're going to be using it. Uh, but first, senators vote nay. I have to what, read this because... Cute dolphins, even if dolphins can be quite aggressive at times, uh, was narrowly voted down. The bill S.900066 was narrowly voted down at the Senate state with a very slim majority, 44 yeas, 50 noes, not voting, 6. The bill, which proposed the nationwide replacement of all beach lifeguards with trained dolphins, had sparked large protests with many lifeguards buying incredibly lifelike dolphin costumes, wearing them to work, and then demonstrating how difficult it was to save a drowning person using only a pair of flippers. These protests were brought to the attention of the world when a passerby needed rescue, needed to rescue both a small boy and a dolphin-dressed lifeguard who was meant to be saving him. <laughs> Uh, a national spokesperson for the Dolphin Beach Patrol spoke passionately about the pros of dolphin lifeguards. The dolphins really want to do their part. They've been helping humans for years. All we're proposing is putting them in a uniform and making them swim up and down certain areas of the coast. I don't see what's so controversial about it. They'd be there anyway, and only and the only cost to the taxpayer is a couple of buckets of fish. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for the new lifeguard union, called the Lifeguards Union, declined to comment, in ch instead choosing to don a dolphin costume, flail his flippers, and shout, they don't even have opposable thumbs! <laughs> oh, a list of senators who voted nay can be found below. The names of voted yay have not been published for fear of violent repri reprisals. Okay, is Senator Crawley on there? Senator Crawley of Maine is indeed on that list. Flippers. Uh, <laughs> Oh dear, I'm very glad that I took the time to do that. There's other parts of the website as well, but we um, uh, that uh, you can go to so trendyvoting.com if you want to look at uh, have a, 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 a smooch around that website. Uh, let's just have a quick look at this article that I've got. Proud supporter of Senator Crawley to a Mrs. Susan Crabapple. It was lovely to hear from you after all these years. Okay, so this is Dear Arthur from yours, Great Auntie Sue. So it's just written on Senator Crawley paper campaigner for the affordable dentures act good act uh what a coincidence you wish to know more about senator crawley she represents my state of maine what can i say about her i'm a massive supporter of hers i campaigned for her to become our new senator she seems like a lovely genuine person who has the best interests of the people of maine at heart i also wrote to her recently about a case awful close to my heart and she replied saying that she would take my letter into consideration when it came to voting on the bill and then I saw that she had voted yay, which was the result I wanted. I was so happy. I will be certainly be campaigning for her again at the next election. Well, that's not this bill then, because she voted nay on this. There shouldn't be a horse bill that they vote nay on. Anyway, um, enough talk about politics, though. Even though I'm obsessed with it all, how are your parents? Look forward to hearing from you again. Pen pal. Okay. Which which cause did they vote? Did this person vote? Well, uh, it must Which, be. The, uh, it's got to be this, isn't it? The campaign uh, for the Affordable Dentures Act. It, why would she have? Oh, well, yeah. She have this. So yeah, okay. she obviously voted yes on the Affordable Dentures Act and nay to dolphin lifeguards. They don't even have opposable thumbs. Um, so we also have here this monthly statistical report, voting patterns brought to you by Porterville University. Uh, okay. Thank you for good old P. Sorry. Good old PU. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ra, ra. Rasputin. Uh, thank you for downloading our PDF, providing a brief summary of the voting trends of US senators from the previous month. Reading this is a show of your support of the university and the means and means we could continue to publish these each month. So thank you. Over the course of this month, there were 10 bills that were voted upon. And our team note that surprisingly, no senator voted the same way four times in a row. During this period, I've got uh, my puzzly spidey sense is tingling here. So just to reiterate, 
uh, the question that we've got to answer for uh, for this puzzle is voted strangely on any bills recently. So, uh, no senator voted the same way four times in a row in this period. They voted the same way on Bill S907239 as they did on the bell, bill that came immediately before it. Bill 909, that saw the senators divided not by party lines, but rather by geographical ones. States in the South and northeast, yes. Midwest and West, nay. All senators have voted yay on the Bill that, and had previously voted on the same way as Bill that and vice versa, oh my goodness. Whereas all senators who voted yay on this bill voted nay on that bill. Finally, our statisticians found that senators who voted yes on that voted yes on that, unless they had previously voted yes on this, in which case they voted nay, oh my god. Conversely, and then there's another condition, we hope that the information we have provided here has given you a clear insight into how senators voted this month and look forward to bringing you next month's edition. Thank you, so clear. Let's take a look at the trend detector. <laughs> oh, so we need a senator name. Uh, well, we do have one. It was, uh, I've, I've, though I've forgotten it. Uh, someone Crawley, what was her first name? Luckily, we could go to um, the f here and go to the, f the, it was, I don't know, it's just Sen Crawley. Will Sen Crawley be good enough? Do we have a first name? Surely we have a first name. Oh, hang on. Jennifer Crawley. It was on the uh, the medical thing. Crawley. Last month's bills. Oh, no. <gasps> Which way did your senator vote? Oh, no. We've got 10 of these. Now, what? two to the power of 10 is 1,024. There is a 1 in 1024 shot that I get it right just by clicking. Is it worth it? Yeah, one in one in twenty-four thousand. Yeah, nay, yeah. No, no, I'm not even going to do it. So, yes, Tebow, I completely agree. It's meant to tell us that. It's meant to tell us that. So we we could go to the dolphin dolphin lifeguards bill because we've been given that that is S zero zero nine six. We're going to have to start. Uh, adding notes here, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> luckily, I can do that, but still, notes. Um, so, S900066, she voted nay, and that is the dolphin bill, just in case. We need to remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, are these bills, what order are these bills in? Are they in numerical order? Yes, I think. Usually they are. Yeah, they're in numerical order. So, uh, is that a thing in the US system in that bills are, in, are always voted on in numerical order? or uh, they, they, they're, they're proposed in numerical order. You know, voting is on a calendar, so. Okay, so the fact that these numbers are increasing doesn't mean that they were in... Uh, go, just go with that. Okay, That's okay. Fine. Don't, don't worry too much about that. So. Okay, phew you so uh what information do we interestingly all senators okay first of all let's uh let's just take the numbers of these bills shall we s yeah. <laughs> 901435 do you not have do you not you cut and put, cut and paste shush shush i loved the tactile sensation of typing oh why why are you proposing th ways to make my life better honestly ah uh. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> uh, I, I, you can also tri triple click on the word to highlight the word. This I did not know. This has actually just revolutioned my life. No, not no. There we oh, go. Double click or triple click. Sometimes they do different things. So yeah. Uh, anyway. This 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 has made my life so much better. Uh, I can confirm it is a double, not a triple. Yes, indeed. But mm -hmm. uh, also, I don't know why I'm typing it without the dot. Hey, doesn't matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. S uh, mm -hmm. Oopsie. Uh, well, uh, can I talk about the thing you're doing at the end of the stream? Uh, sure. Okay, so uh, Hubble603, uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. So, uh, Dan, because of lots of things, we will be doing a, well, he will be doing a giveaway 
uh, later on in this stream. So you, I think you're giving away at least one, possibly more than one, well, a copy of the Detective Society. And so stay around here for that if you want to, if you want your own copy. Yes, absolutely. It'll be a copy of the uh, the, the previous one, the box previous mm -hmm. to this, mm -hmm. season two, episode mm -hmm. one. This is episode two. The giveaway will happen when we've sort of finished this month's stream. Yeah. I will also be giving away a, a, a code for 10% off at the store. And also, mm. eh, now seems like a good time to reveal it. I actually have two boxes to give away, but I'm saving one of them for next stream. There's got to be a reason why I, I come back, right? Sure. And uh, one of the important, yeah, this is one of the important things. This is a new box, not one that Dan had already <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it is. Uh, can be sent worldwide as well. There you go. <laughs> uh, although whether you have to pay taxes because of Brexit, who knows? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's mm -hmm. free to enter. Later on, all you'll have to do is just type something in the chat, and then it one will yeah. get picked at random. So it's it's a no purchase. Um, what is it? No purchase necessary. Uh, no, no, yeah, exactly. Okay, so. All right, so you know, so you've got the numbers in. Uh, we also have the dentist thing, uh, which is so the denture. Do you have the denture? Have... Yeah. Yes, we do. Voted yay on the Affordable Dentures Act, which was Bill nine zero three zero six four. So we have a we have a yay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna type it like that. Yeah, that's fine. And we have a yay and a nay so far. Okay. Interestingly, all senators who voted yay. On the bill, this one, which uh, if I bring up my notes, uh, which will go here. Uh, throw that here. Look at that framing. It's almost like a plan that. Uh, had previously mm. voted the same way on bill S8033. Okay, what? But we yeah, do huh? not have that bill. It's that, not relevant at this point, isn't it? Not at the moment, but I'm still going to put the information because why have we been given it? Chekhov's gun. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they previously voted on the same way on that. Uh, so that is a nay. And that's just going to get a big old question mark right there. Okay. Um, right. We know that they don't vote the same way on four in a row i'm sure that will come into play later Senators yeah you should mark that uh, yeah adam's my mark that the three is 30 64 is the dentures just for the so that you know yeah thank you dentures dolphin and dentures are uh, these all going to be begin with d I, i'm gonna I, i'm going to just steer you just because a little bit of timing yeah. um what else have you not used on that website uh, about the senate uh well and uh, <laughs> and uh other things on the news mm -hmm. okay let's have a look at the news then so we have state secrets found in capital burger everything absolutely fine say parties mm -hmm. widows rejoice up rejoice after vote that feels like i have to go there mm -hmm. so bill s903061 passed through the senate today the bill allowing a widow or widower to if they choose officially take over their recently deceased partner's job <laughs> passed through the senate with an overwhelming majority even if the widow or widower does not meet the minimum job requirement for the role the company must hire them to do the same job you, you are blocking a little bit of the screen just uh, oh i am yes um uh, there, there's your there's your text uh mm -hmm. recently widowed san franco uh from florida had this to say about the bill passing. I'm del delighted that this bill has made it through. After I personally campaigned on this issue, I will now be resigning my seat in the Senate and taking over my sadly wife, sadly deceased wife job, wife job at redacted in Cupertino. <laughs> Sayonara suckers. <laughs> uh, okay. It had complete support from the surprisingly large amount of widowed senators who currently sit in the Senate. Now I think she is a widow. Uh, hmm. because doesn't it say somewhere? Mm -hmm. Uh, she's a widow, and I can't remember where I read, read it. Is it on the? Is it on the email from about? Uh, is it on the email because we're looking from the from no, the original no, person? No, 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 no. It is. Fr yeah, yes. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, it is from mm -hmm. this email. Uh, Jennifer yeah. Crawley, John Crawley, deceased. I love how all the information is scattered. Uh, mm -hmm. and it, but it's all there. Yes. So we know that she's a, uh, a widow and that therefore she voted yay to S903061. 
Uh, I want to put Scottish Widows, but you won't get the reference. Um, Scott, it's a set of adverts and a banking thing here. Mm. Uh, it just looks like that with the veil. <laughs> okay. So that's what we've got. Anything else you haven't used? Oh, almost, what, on that website? Yes. Oh, let's keep on looking at the news. Progressive also, Party says yay to environment. Oh, I just because you didn't finish reading it. Another name instead of says, it seems to make sense. It allows the widow or widow to continue to support their family. Also, I really dislike Senator Franklin, so I'm very pleased he's leaving the Senate. To be honest, I never really trusted him since <laughs> his wife disappeared in mysterious circumstances. Oh. <laughs> hmm. The Progressive uh, Party the dis- today? Go on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The, the Progressive there's, Party there's today more. have announced mm-hmm. that they'll be instructing all members of their party to vote yay to any bill containing the word environment. <laughs> mm-hmm. In an ex- unexpected move from PPHQ, a statement was released saying any party containing the word progressive in their name should be voting for progressive things. And anything environmental related is, in our mind, progressive the statement continued mm-hmm. we are a progressive party voting on progressive things the environment is progressive we are progressive therefore progressive party votes for the environment anyone that does not vote yay for the bill with the word environment in uh will not progress in our progressive party uh, <laughs> upcoming bills this will affect so it has three bills so there's seven uh, so it's this one uh <laughs> So that's a uh, proposal to improve the environment. I've just spotted these titles. Improve the environment for caterpillars. Continue trading with companies, uh, countries who have no policy on improving the environment. Fine. And proposal to destroy the environment. Perfect. So 914. That one's too high. But it's just this one that it affects. This 907239. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is she and part of I, the Progressive I, Party? I assume so, but... How do you know? Uh, well... Well, 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 there must be a way of finding out. What, was it in the dolphin thing? The, the, the... Click on the uh, click on about the Senate. Uh-huh. You should read more about the U.S. Senate. You, there are things you should know. OK. Uh, mm-hmm. the... There are 100 senators. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Senator. Boy. Senator. OK. Progressive Party, PP, they are the green, ha ha ha, green, that is their colour, and that is what I was talking about with the rosette, nice colour of green, uh, thank you, thank you, we get getting that, it's just there's so much information, the order I deal with it is just going to be, the... yeah, I'm watching the clock, so yeah, no, no, no. Caroline, it's okay to scream, just know that we will give the answers at the right time. So. <laughs> it is perfectly okay to scream, many people have been yeah. in this day and age. So, yeah. yay for the yeah. uh, Caterpillar environment, it was that mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. so that's, we, All right. we have done that. Okay, so now I think you have information <laughs> about, from, from, the, uh, from the pamphlet to work this yeah. out. Absolutely. Okay. Also, it's the bull moose. It is the bull moose. Uh, is their logo, as you can see from yes, it is the rosette. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Bill nine zero nine five seven one. This one here. Solve centres mm-hmm. divided not by party lines but geographical. Maine is very much in the northeast, so she voted mm-hmm. yay. Mm. And I know that I'm spelling it yay deliberately. So, so we've got that one. Uh, Senators voted the same way on the bill 907239, so that's this one, as they did on the bill that came immediately before it. So we now know that that one is a yay. So we've we've dealt with that paragraph. We've dealt with this paragraph. Interestingly, all senators who voted yay on bill that had previously voted the same way on bill that and vice versa. We know that she voted nay. Uh... Uh, and vice versa. Does that mean? Uh, I assume that means that that's that's a nay for that other weird bill that we don't know about yet. Whereas all senators who voted yay on nine oh six four seven nine, so we know she did, voted nay on nine one three three four three, which is this one here. So we can now fill that in. Mm-hmm. Finally, our statisticians found that senators who voted yay on this one 
voted yay on that, well, she didn't. Conversely, mm -hmm. all those senators who voted nay on that bill, okay, good, she voted nay, all voted nay on 904, 913, unless they voted nay on 803. Aha, this is why we've got it. Mm -hmm. Unless they voted nay on this one, in which case they voted yay. So 904, 913, it's a yay. Now, this is where the thing comes in that no more than four in a row were the same vote. If we put a yay there, that's going to be a run of seven. That can't happen. So that's a nay. Uh, so we're just left with this 901. Um, is it is it no more than four? No senator voted the same way four times in a row. So that one also has to be a nay, because otherwise we'd get a four times in a row. So therefore, that is a nay. And that is her voting thing. Uh, and I can see that Meredith Naden and uh, you've all been getting getting these, so that is good. Uh, so let's mm -hmm. put that in the trend, Doctor. We should, you should be telling us the trends, you stupid thing. Anyway, uh, so I wouldn't have got it. I put no yay on the first one anyway. So it's nay, nay, nay. No, remember, remember, you added one extra for the previous year. Oh yes, 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 yes I did. Numbers, nay, nay, so. nay, 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 yay, yay, yay. So that is those five, and then switch, switch your view. Oh yes, the Q. Um, <laughs> have I done one? Yes, I have done a. Uh, I just want Chrome. There we go. So that's five. Uh, so now one, two, three, four, five. And then it's nay. Yay. 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 And nay. Submit. We have built a wonderful tool to see whether your senator has vote, voted as expected. Let's get rid of that. Oh, uh, no. Let's get rid of... Excel, where have you gone? There you are. Let's get rid of it so you can see things. The tool will hire incidents where your senators voted strangely. Uh, we saw no outlying results in the way your senator voted, and therefore have no concerns. If you are convinced your senator is corrupted, then we recommend you checking. I'm getting, I'm getting notifications that I did the last one. Mm -hmm. I did the last one wrong. That last one, indeed, should have been a nay. Come on, be corrupt. Here we go. Senator Crawley is a member of the Progressive Party. Ah. But on that bill, Bill 906, 319, there's a distinctly non-progressive thing. So that is what we're going to tell um, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, uh, the, is it the doctor? Yes, we're helping a doctor with his inquiries. <laughs> of course we are. Um, uh, oh, no, no, we're, no, it's the brother. Dr. Brother. Fishman is the doctor. Yeah, this is someone else. Uh, yes, we're mm -hmm. helping the brother. So Senator Jennifer Crawley voted weirdly in bill. And then what was the bill? It was, uh, if I just find it, 906-319. Okay, and send. Uh, and I am putting that in the notes. Weird vote. So that I have put in the, uh, there are just put weird vote in that relevant thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Arthur, what, what, what say you to that? Hmm. Interesting. Senator Crawley has gone against her normal voting trends on that one. I think that's going to be enough for that one. Two parents down, two to go. Let me know what you find out. I don't. Do we know what that what that bill was? I'm not sure we do. But anyway, we do not know what that is. All right. Maybe we will find out at some point. Here we go. Here is uh, the page for number three. Just get rid of Excel. Where are you? There you are. What company did Janine Bridges work for? Magazine article. Magazine article. Twitter scandal. Here we go. <laughs> Looking forward to this one. Twitter twit. Social media manager Janine Bridges was fired from her dream job for sending a wayward tweet. The tweet revealed key details about a secret project at the, at, a, at the massive tech firm that employed her. The firm, which we can't name for legal reasons, curse you, Tech Weekly, issue number 392, page 34. 
terminated the contract of Bridges 44 within minutes of her sending the tweet from her personal account, despite immediately deleting the account at Aussie underscore Bridges. Well, I think we might be taking a trip along to Twitter to see that soon. Uh, uh, that, if you want to have a look, it's at under Aussie underscore Bridges. Insiders say... I'm just trying to go there now. <laughs> and I can't do two things at once. Insiders say Bridges' post could have tipped off investors about a revolutionary new product that the firm is reportedly set to be launching. A representative from the company had this to say, Janine has been a vital part of our team for the past 13 years. She spearheaded several incredibly successful campaigns for us and we're incredibly sad that she will no longer be working with us as we move into one of the most exciting phases of our company's history. The mistake she made is incredibly out of, the char out of character for her but we were left with no choice other than to terminate her contract immediately as we could no longer trust her judgment. Her colleague Christy Barnes said, Janine was an excellent manager and a good friend of mine. I still don't quite believe that she's done this. We loved her work, but I think it's unlikely she'll be able to get another job in the industry after this error. What did she do? The, f the tech firm's stock price soared. Well, that's interesting. We've had one plummet and now one soar. After the misplaced tweet, with people desperate to invent in the company before the massive upcoming announcement that she hinted at in her message. We contacted Janine for comment, however, she was unavailable. Uh, OK, so if you go to uh, this is her thing. Zero is deleted. She's got two followers, though. Uh, who to follow? Yes, those are people who I follow. That's not it. Two followers. So who are her two followers? Edward Packer and Nick... Chan Frogger. Hang on. Uh, that uh, means follow. anybody on the internet can follow. Yeah, you yeah, know that, right? Yeah. She is, yeah, yeah, sorry. So uh, those are, yes. Uh, Aussie Bridges isn't following anyone. Okay, fine. Yeah. There is stuff on the back page of this, by the way. So, uh, Startup Spotlight. Sorry. Pay with a smile. Bank cards might soon be a thing of the past thanks to Toothpay. The tech company has created dental implants that contain RFID chips, meaning you can make contactless payments with your teeth rather than your bank card or smartphone. <laughs> They're 90% 90 less likely to be robbed, although those that are robbed incur substantial, substantially higher dental costs. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, dog and Bone. Hello, this is Dog. Uh... Bork Tech have created what they claim to be the world's first smartphone that is entirely operable by dogs. The K9 phone has two buttons, call and hang up. When the dog presses the first button, it initiates a video call to its owner, which the dog can terminate with the second button, useful if the owner tells them they have been a bad dog. The company says that the phone is chew and, jewel, chew and drool poof proof and will retail, retail for £109. Okay, so, um, don't think... So I'll bring that back up later, but... We know that Janine was fired for sending a tweet. We don't know what the tweet was. Um, <laughs> Keep going. Go back. Sorry. Ear today, the wax laser. Your personal grooming routine is facing a massive shakeup thanks to the ear hygiene disruptor, the wax laser. The wax laser fires infrared laser beams into your ear cavity, breaking down the wax inside, enabling the wax to easily fall out of your ear hole. Uh, the company claimed that within 10 years, syringing earwax will be a thing of the past. The innovative laser is still waiting for regulative, regulatory approval. However, there are some mild concerns that the beam could cause, uh, can penetrate into the brain, causing severe neurological problems. And mm -hmm. then back for... Oh, sh flipping neck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, sorry, I should not laugh at you. <laughs> Back from the red. Delete wit. Ever wish you could see the tweets of your famous celebrities that your famous celebs wrote before they inevitably deleted their account because people were being mean to them. I think I know where I'm going now. Well, that's a problem with the past. A new website has been created which displays the posts of users even after they've deleted their account. Deletewit.com allows users to type in deleted usernames and see what they've previously posted. It's still in beta, so it may not display everything every deleted account is, but it's worth checking out. Shall I go to Deletewit.com? I was I was trying to figure out why you saved that to last. I thought you knew and we're just goofing around. No! <laughs> <laughs> Out of the four articles on this page, you literally picked the last one. Oh. Well done. Shall I enter the Twitter handle of at Aussie underscore Bridges? Yes, I will. At Aussie underscore Bridges. 
people are starting to work out that I'm actually a Muppet in human form. Um, so here is the account. Please find deleted tweets for the previous month below. I'm going to delete this account. Bye forever. Thanks for all the follows. Uh, so this is all going to be uh, let, let's world's best boss. Uh, it's so wet today. Uh, every day my daughter amazes me. Congrats on a new job. Good churros. I'm not a fan of churros. I had I had some churros and I thought no, they're just bad donuts. Very disappointing. Uh, world's best. had bad churros. Entirely possible. Uh, look at what Kirsty Barnes got me. Yes, because that we know that uh, was her colleague that got mentioned. Um, need a new captain in the cricket team. I feel like there won't be any new social media platforms being launched with Reach Peak. How beautiful is that? Lake Burley Griffin. Can birds fly upside down? Twice. <laughs> I love my job. I feel like I'd sleep without years. Pizza. Nice. Uh, does anyone have any recommendations for bike repair shops? I hate cooking so much. Ha, me too. My daughter is the most amazing person. I've just seen what we're going to announce at our press conference this year. I'm not exaggerating when I say that this is going to be the biggest product launch of any company ever. Our company is going to make so much money. Okay. Everyone must ignore... Just ignore that previous tweet. Didn't say it. Didn't say it. Stop talking about it. Anyone know any jobs going? Probably social media. Employers must be willing to overlook a minimum of one career-ending incident. Yes. Uh, uh, turns out this is a way for people to see old posts, but deleting my account will stop anyone. Delete this account. Right, she doesn't mention it. She doesn't mm -hmm. mention it. Is there anything mm -hmm. else? There's got to be something else. The account found. Where's a... Uh, okay, got lunch for the whole office. So is it going to be in that picture? The clue is on this page. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's got to be something to do with... With... World's best boss. I was hoping for that to be in the background of that. Oh, Kirsty's Barnes. Let's go to her account. Because we know that that is her Twitter account. And she works with her. So if she says where she works, then that's what I'm after. Uh, is it Cadmosi? Is that it? Uh, are there any uh, any tweets? Can't see any tweets. But I'm going to assume that that might be yeah zero tweets. Uh, well, it's a protected account, so you wouldn't know. Account. Yes, but Cadmosi feels like that must be the mm. um, the the Ujima flip of the thingy, <laughs> the name of the company. So I'm going to let Arthur know. I'll, I'll ask chat, why are you following that account already? Me? Yeah. I don't know! I mean, it says <laughs> you're following. It does, doesn't it? Why am I following mm -hmm. her? Because... That's on you. I have no idea. I, that, I'm so confused right now. That's so yeah, weird. Make sure you're spelling... Make sure you're spelling yeah, it's uh, copy uh, of the name. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I worried. I'm worried. Why am I following her? Uh, I'm Good so... <laughs> Why? What's your I think she followed me uh, on Twitter. I th and then I just followed um, back. Uh, uh -huh. uh, or, or yeah, or this is you followed someone's Twitter from a, the last case and they just reused this. Well, it's possible. It's possible. Well, no, but the last case is still alive. Exactly. I mean, as in you can buy that. Exactly. So. so I think it's not that. I don't know. I think they followed me because they're following 19 yeah. people. And I just went, follow yeah. for no reason. I, anyway. All I, right. <laughs> just everyone, ignore that. Uh -huh. um, and yes, you get to see the other people who get recommended from me, which I don't got hugely fond of, but never mind. Um, I, I mean, I've got Twitter drama, but that's for tomorrow. Okay, I'm not getting anything back. Did I... Did, Did I you not? spell it correctly? Cad Mosai. Cad Mosai. Cad Mosai. That's right, isn't it? I haven't got anything back. Uh, uh, I would either capitalize it or maybe put a space in there because like, it's, it is Cosmos AI, not Cadmosai. Cad 
No sign. Oh, Cadmos AI. Okay. Yeah. Cadmos. Cause... I'll put a space in there. Cadmos AI then. Uh... Yeah. Although, now that email has gone, come back. So fine. Okay. That's good. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Uh, hi there, Janine Bridges. Work for Cadmos AI. Maybe that's got something to do with it. I'll do some digging. You crack on with the final parent, Toby's dad. Let me know what you discover. Oh, so at least he's aware that you're on three or four. That's good. Yes, and which three I've done. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So information about Toby Albrecht. Uh, here we go. As requested. So parents are Paul and Suzanne. I have here. A card for Toby Albrecht. Uh, additional information. Toby and old sister have lived with their father since their mother moved out when they were five and three. Hard to find anything interesting on Paul. Works for a temp agency. Where will he be working for the next few months? And that's what we're going to try and do now. So here is his card. Um, there is, on the back of it, a QR code. I reckon time to scan the QR code and go to that website. So if if you're able to get your phone onto my screen, it, you'll be able to do that. Um, I would. I need to, of course, get my phone uh, and do it. I mean, you're actually welcome to tell me what the thing is. So I've just got to move this so that I can. Tempstaffglobal.com. Tempstaffglobal.com. which I will put a link to in the chat. Tempstaffglobal.com. They have the best temps. We are trusted by businesses worldwide to provide the best temporary staff. Uh, we can get you short-term hires who are much better than your permanent staff. Our temp staff are related, <laughs> rated as follows. 80% competent, 90% honest, and 95% on appearance. <laughs> I mean, for honesty, I mean, that's 100% right there. Uh, are you an employer? Office work just got interesting. Unlike other agencies, we don't employ boring temps. Our staff aren't just good at what they do. They're also interesting people. Um, are you an employee? Okay, it's all these things. Our stats. We currently have lots of temps working for lots of clients in 42 countries, 17 awards. So... This is going to be one of the things, isn't it? What are you sniggering at? What are you looking at? Sorry, in particular? That Movaldi is back. Well, uh, it scroll, it? scroll the list of names. Scroll back to the left. Movaldi! Yes! Oh, love it. Sorry, uh, I love that's it. That's a, a throwback to season one. Love it. Uh, since, yeah. uh, whether you're looking for a chef in Sheffield, a farmer in Palmer, or a chiropractor in Cairo, we can get you the right staff member at the right price. That is good, good writing uh read more I, jakarta or la carta is actually a really good name uh i didn't see that um uh, in the logos in the oh, logo okay. list yeah oh yes I, I just broadband affairs paris burn baby burn barbecue the dublin mega city jakarta a la carta that is a good name isn't it marseille le fish buenos aires macarta yeah good good stuff right um we're going to have to narrow it down. Which client is Mr. Paul Albrecht working for? We're going to need to know that. Well, he's got thousands of clients, so that's a problem. So Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, so, the New Delhi Delhi. <laughs> the Ankara Anchor. Jakarta Alicata. Hanover Handover. These are great names. Uh, it's... Okay, I mean, I'm going to take a step back here because you and I have both constructed puzzles. Yes. Do you just spend your time in a room just like how many pun names, how many rhyming names can we get in 30 minutes or yes. something like that? Because yes. this is great. Yeah. This is absolutely great. Um, yeah, absolutely. The mm -hmm. Aquarium of Rome. Fishes of Munich. Uh, yeah. So Wait, the, 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 the last one here. Fishes of Munich. The last list. Oh. No, no, no. Read, read, the, read the last six picture. We have a very diverse range of staff skills, which is why we're able to provide staff to some large pharmaceutical companies. Riga Pharmaceutical Corporation, mm -hmm. Rome Pharmaceutical Company, Ham Hanover Pharmaceutical, MK, Lisbon Fish Centre. <laughs> That's got to be a front, right? That's got to be. I, that I'm thinking maybe. Uh, I guess we've got to inquire. Make an inquiry. Uh, your okay. next great temp. So we're going to inquire after mm -hmm. this person. We need to inquire at this person. So, 
Uh, how do I? Uh, uh, my name. Kenneth Wollstoneholme. Company. Uh, Peaks. Peak. Picks. Picks. It's a toothpick company. And uh, position. Um, happy. Right. I'm sure there's probably three things there. That, three specific things that we need to put in. Oh, OK. Uh, fill in an email and a phone number. Dan. Am I going to get a call here? Oh, my goodness. Dan does detectiving at gmail.com. I now need to check that that is the email address because <laughs> it's been a while. Mm -hmm. To Dan does detectiving gmail.com uh, test and just check that I receive that. Yes, good. Yeah. Always good. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. It's not an account I use regular well, it regularly, yes. Um, right, I'm just going to take this off whilst I put my phone number in. <laughs> uh, front, phone number doesn't have a star, so it's not required. Uh, On the form? Fine, it doesn't say it's yes. Required I, yeah, I'm just going to pick next then. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah. The role I'm hiring for is... Okay, well, this person here on the card, it says the specialism is security. So I'm going to look for security. Boom. Job done. Do I want to hire a specific temp? Yes, I do. Staff ID number. Well, that's 233049300 on the card. Smith. Thank you for your inquiry regarding one of our temporary staff members. You will shortly receive a reply to the email address which you entered. To avoid disappointment, make sure you check your junk mail. Okay, here we go. Here's your notification. Dear Kenneth Wollstoneholme. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, he's the person who uh, is he narrate i can't he's the person who narrated they think it's all over it is now right <laughs> i've picked that name and i can't remember who he is genius thank you for your hiring and interested in hiring here at temp stuff global we can you, you you are correct he is that he is a commentator including that quote he, uh, yeah Google Translate time, yes. Hello, vielen Dank for interesting. Mir kein Zerutel. Just, it's, it, no, I better not, because I'll get into trouble with any of my friends who are German. Leider bich in für den nächsten paar Monate in einem großen Utelhausen. Yes, yes, let's just go to translate. <laughs> because I don't want to offend anyone else. Uh, let's translate you. Uh, open a Google Translate. Hello, thank you very much for your interest in hiring me. Unfortunately, I'm working in a large entertainment conference center in Germany for the next few months, so I can't be reached. Please don't hesitate to contact me again in the future if you need some with my skills. Paul Albrecht. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that that's 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 a start. Now I guess we can look at the rest of the website mm -hmm. and look for entertainment centers in mm. um <laughs> that German went rapidly Swedish chef. <laughs> He's not you're not wrong. <laughs> uh let's have a look at the clients and look for entertainment conference. Well there's there is the Hanover Convention Center. I'm going to go for the Hanover Convention Center as the uh final uh, mm -hmm. thing. So let's email Arthur again. With... Yep, a lot of people a lot of people pointed this out. I'm letting chat I'm letting Dan kind of go through all the steps. But yes, the chat. Mikael, I think, got there about ten minutes ago. But yes, you're all correct. Thank you. Thank you for bearing with. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna put you back in your little lanyard. Uh, hopefully we should get an email. Hi there, incredible work. I've done a search. Using all the information you've discovered from all the victims' parents, and I found this news article. Whatever connects these parents must be to do with whatever Cadmos AI are launching at that event. See if there's a way to find out more and figure out what they're launching. Email me when you know what it is. I hope it's a very large rocket. That's why they're launching. What other things could you launch? You could launch a rocket. That's pretty much it. Let's take a look at that. 
Cadmusai. Cad. I, I, I keep thinking it's Cadmusai. There's no gap in their logo. Naughty. Massive tech breakthrough. Breakthrough at Cadmos AI. If reports are to be believed, there will be a big tech announcement at the end of the ad annual Cadmos AI conference in Hanover this week. Ah, convenient Hanover, hey? It has been an excellent year for Cadmos, with the recent collapse of their fierce Japanese rivals at the Fujihara Tech Organization and the passing of a recent groundbreaking bill in the American Senate relating to the regulation of AI in a domestic environment. And there's the bill, seeing Cadmos's AI share price skyrocket. Their share price increased further following a tweet from a rogue employee, which came to light last week. Unfortunately, we cannot print the tweet for legal reasons, but it spoke of Cadmos AI announcing a revolutionary new product. There are rumours that Cadmos AI has enlisted the services of a notorious AI coder slash hacker. That'll be uh, his mother. That is the that is the fifth person in the link. That is the Timothy Lee's mother to work with them on this project, increasing anticipation about the Hanover announcement even more. The CEO of Cadmos AI, Sally. Sally Sally Radler, released a brief statement about the upcoming conference. Cadmos AI has been at the forefront of artificial intelligence for the last decade. We like to think that we have assisted humanity with some incredible technology so far and are looking forward to showing you what we have been working on at our annual conference. We reached out to Cadmos AI for further comment on the reports of a massive breakthrough, but sadly their press officer remi remained tight-lipped on the subject. For more information about Cadmos AI, their press officer can be reached at myers.jonathan at Cadmos AI. Dot com. I think we should email this Myle, Myers chap, don't you? I think so. Myers.jonathan. Now, irritatingly, that was an image, so I have to, I can't double click, as I have now learned to do. Uh, Myers.jonathan. Uh, is that Jonathan or Jonathan? It was John. Oh, where is it? Go through all the tabs. I should probably close some of these. Uh, Jonathan at cadmosai.com. Uh, subject, tell me your secrets. Uh, pretty please, just to be polite. Thanks. Right, let's see if, uh, <laughs> if that works. <laughs> you have to be subtle at times, I think. Um. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm Kenneth at this point, aren't I? No, no, that, that was just a hire, uh, Paul Albrecht. That was Kenneth. Oh, Kenneth's gone now. Press release request. Hi there. Unfortunately, I can't give out any details of when we'll be launching our upcoming... Uh, Annual, uh, yeah, yeah. However, if you keep an eye on the Exhibition Centre's website, hanovercentre.de, then more information will become available during the event. I've seen the event page on the website... Uh, on the website for the big launch already, and it's looking fantastic. In case you didn't already know, the event is happening the day after the big dirt bike show. We can't wait to show you our new product. We can't wait for you to see our new product. It really is quite something. It better be at the end of all this. If it isn't like the fountain of youth, I'm going to be disappointed. I, I like Minket's suggestion of just emailing Sally Radler, the CEO, directly, because why not, right? <laughs> but I, I, I don't... I don't... I don't think they're going to say anything. Uh, I think not. I think not. Welcome to the Hanover Centre. They uh, they like to wait on you. Hanover Fist. Th that joke's been done in the chat. About no! The <laughs> Why, beaten. chat? Why are you so good? Um, okay. <laughs> Head over to the Hanover Centre. So there's events, gigs, meetings, concerts, flexible spaces to suit your space. The only place for forgettable... For unforgettable kids, let's see what's on. I'm sure there's a full list of things, interestingly, uh, in here, but I'm just going to go to the events page. The Concrete Show, Germany's most popular expo about concrete. Furniture Fest. The Lawn Mower Show, a cut above all over all other garden appliance expos. All Germany God sh uh, Dog Show. Let's have a look at the all German Germany Dog Show. Sorry, if there are dogs involved. Got to have a look. Uh, oh, I thought there was going to be lots of pictures. Boo. Um... We'll see dogs from 62 different breeds to see who is top dog. Yeah, fine. Uh, let's keep going. Indoor golf championship. <laughs> the big dirt bike show. Catex, the expo for working cats. <laughs> Please tell me there's cats. Oh, no. Um, if that's the announcement, though, if that's the announcement, I'm all for this. That is better than the Fountain of Youth. Uh, let's have a look. So it's the big dirt bike is on 
So it's one day. Oh, it doesn't doesn't say which day. Ugh. Thanks, Hanover Centre website. Uh, during the day, you can wander around the stand, see the latest innovations that are revolutionising our dirt bikes. Bring your own dirt bike and our team of mechanics will look over it and tell you what you need to take it to the next level. Then in the evening, we present the most spectacular dirt bike show you've ever seen, featuring 12 top riders featuring death de performing death-defying stunts in the middle of the convention centre. Have you ever seen three dirt bikes jump through the same ring of fire at the same time? No? Well, that's because no one has, because this trick is being performed for the first time ever at this show. It will blow your mind. It promises to be the best life of your night, unless you don't like dirt bikes, in which case you should come for the excellent range of food stands. <laughs> yes. I, uh, yeah, sold. OK, so it's one day from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Global Dirt Bikes and Event ID 616. So is it just going to be Event ID 617? Is that what I'm looking for? I feel like that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So, so let's have a look at the events. And um, I can look at the URLs as I hover over each one of these. So the chat can't see the URLs. But I can. So that's one yeah. of the things. Uh, yeah, and so the, you uh, might so have to that talk. one is 616. This one is 615. The Indoor Golf Championship is 615. 614 is all, more, all Germany. 613, 612. So they are in order. So the next one... We're looking for 617. The next one is 618. European mm -hmm. Wheat Show, 619. B2B Marketing Expo, 620. National Running Convention, 621. So there is no 617. Well, it's not. It's there, but it has, it's there, but it's not public. Indeed. It's not on this page. So what if we just try and put it in the URL box or something? Okay. No. But we need to know the company. Oh, but we do know the company, don't we? We know that, that it is... Um, do we know the company? Cadmos AI. Okay, Correct. Um, it's Cadmos... Oh, you can't quite see this, but I'm typing in the URL box now. I'm just so. Typing. Yeah, so to, to explain the to the rest of the chat, so the other event URLs are like catx-616, and they're the company name hyphen and then the sequential number. Yes, so that is the website I've gone to, hanovercenter.de forward slash cadmosai-617, and here it is. Mark, do not add this page to the what's on section until Cadmos give us the go-ahead. Naughty Mark. <laughs> The world's well, no, no, he's in that. He didn't add it to the walks. What's on section? He just stumbled on it. True, very true. The world's top AI mm -hmm. company reveal their new product. Here we go. Buckle in, everyone. Cadmos AI, the most innovative tech company on the planet, is to reveal its new product at the Hanover Center. Tickets are issued on an invitation only basis. And fans of the company are asked not to congregate around the entrance of the building. Those thinking of doing so are reminded that extra security will be in place and our windows are famously unbreakable. However, you could view the product launch window video below. OK, here we go. Mark, this video looks good, but we need to remove it until after the launch. Cadmos says it's top secret. See, Mark, bad Mark. Here we go. The light bulb. The television. The computer. The smartphone. Each of these technological breakthroughs changed the world. Today, the world <laughs> buffering changes again. I'm just going to pause it to allow it to buffer. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> just wait those few extra seconds for the product reveal. It's going to be a good one. Our lives will never be the same. No more cooking. No more cleaning. Oh, sorry. I, I, I can't stream and watch this video, apparently. No more cleaning. No more cooking. No more laundry. Oh, amazing. Imagine a home where something does all these tasks for you. I am so... Well... <laughs> the suspense. <sighs> you no longer need to imagine. Introducing a world-changing innovation from Cadmos AI. Uh huh. The Cadbot One, the world's <laughs> first robot housekeeper. Mm, okay. Just pause in there. Allow you to. Ominous. I'll just play those last few seconds again because I like the random shift the in tone. The Cadbot One, the world's first robot housekeeper. 
<laughs> Robot housekeeping. Okay. Right. So we now know what the uh, thing that we can tell Arthur is. So robot house housekeeping. Uh, t uh, tell me, uh, Scott, have you recently bought a, a, a robot, small robot house cleaner for yourself? Yes, I own a wonderful robot vacuum. Um, it has radar technology, so it's completely mapped out my apartment and all the obstacles and is in no way using that information to figure out how to get to me at any time of the day. So. <laughs> Does he have a name yet? Uh, or she? No, is I don't. It he or I, she? I, 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 it, it's, it's a robot vacuum. That's it's all it's a, going a, to be. <laughs> Uh, see, I'm not the only, it's catnip also is asking for a name. It's going to get a name soon, you know. Uh, 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 so what what was the uh, term that I was after again? Bot housekeeper. Yeah, well, you said robot, robot housekeeper. Ha would. Housekeeper. Because I think that, that the exact phrasing will be needed here. Robot housekeeper. Yeah. I have to say, when we started with mysterious illness, I never expected to say that we end up with robot housekeeper. No, no. This is what I love about it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Could be robot servant or worse, so uh, yeah. Robot butler. Robot housekeeper. Hi there. I really have uh, no idea oh, how that's linked to are you, are you getting uh, suggestions for names? No, no, no. I'm just oh annoying. no, no, you're not. Boo, we need to suggest some. Uh I have no idea how that's linked to my brother. How bizarre. Even more strange, while you were working, I received a very concerning email. Someone has found out about our investigation and sent me this message, dear. Adrian Dunbar, it has come to my attention that you're looking for me. You should know that any attempt to find me would be incredibly foolish. If you care about your brother, I would strongly suggest that you desist. Beware. You slash N1149302. I know it's a long shot, but can you look into what they've sent and see if they've made a mistake and left any clues as to what's going on? Email anything you find Oh, wow. Out. Well, very well remembered, Minket. Yes, robot does come from the Czech for force labor it does it comes from a play mm -hmm. i'm trying to remember it, it, the play was called rr i can't are you are russell's universal robots yes um now this looks like a reddit thing doesn't it yes it does so i'm going to reddit.com is it reddit.com and then just the, that reddit yeah reddit.com slash that yeah uh it helps if i actually there we go. So let's go to this Reddit user. Mm hmm. Dan does detective. Yes, yeah, shush. Okay. Former disgraced business owner rises from the ashes. Unluckiest business owner in world's luck continues as wife loses high profile tech job. Uh huh. That's, that'll be the senator we had earlier. Home of former business owner burned. Business targeted. So what are we trying to work out here? Well, See if they've made a mistake and left any clues as to what's going on. Okay. So, um, well, Pro Schemes International, uh, corporate insolvency. Okay, his new business has an interesting name. I know the name's a little strange, but I wanted to make it a constant reminder of what I've overcome to get back to this stage in my life. So I kept pro skins, added what happens, what's happened to my house, followed by my wife's maiden name, and then added dot com on the end because it's an online store and that's what online stores do. So we need to be able to go to that website. Whew. OK. So is this the person? Is this the person that this is the senator's? Is this to do with the senator now? Uh, Reddit links are in that format of slash you slash whatever. So uh, that's 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 the name for all users is uh, slash you and then their username. That's how you get to their feed. Yep. Uh, do I? I don't mean senator. Yeah. No. Hang on. So uh, yeah. earlier on, we were dealing with um, the bill to take. You, the the spouse's job when they deceased so yeah is it but... something to do with that is that where we're going to be going so mm. unluckiest business owner world continues as luck as wife loses high profile tech so, job. uh for those who don't know also reddit is in the newest first style so if you want to read the oldest you go to the bottom yeah 
So it looks like Maria sighed, who professionally used her maiden name. So we're going to have to find out that maiden name. Is that, is that what we're going to have to do? Oh, my goodness. Um, so because the, the wife is sighed, but she used her that, that maiden is, that name. Is, that, that is her maiden name. Oh, sorry. Who professionally mm. used her maiden name. Okay. Avoid. So side. So we know that side is the thing. So let's just go mm. here. What we need to do is we need to find a website name. We need to go pro skins, add what mm. happened to my house, which I think it got burnt down or something. It's so probably arson, but we'll check that in a second. Followed by my wife's maiden name. So that's side and then added .com. So it's pro skins, whatever's next, side.com. Mm. Home of former business owner burned. Um, so treating the fire is suspicious. It may be a revenge attack. So arson then. So I'm going to go to the website proskins arson side dot com, which you don't know. You don't know that it's arson. Fire then. Just the, the verb. The verb is in this. Okay. Burned. The verb is in the subject line. Yeah. The verb, okay. the verb is in the proskins burned side dot com. Because what the it, arson didn't happen. Well, it. Yeah. Their house burned, burned down. Their house didn't arson down. Okay. It says volume up. Click me. I, I've been pun coming. I've been burned by this before. Um, but this is Mobius Inc. Dot com. This is. Mobius again. This is the name of that weird business card M logo. What is going on? This is the shadowy society. Right. Oh, God. Uh, I'm ready with the volume to turn it down. I told you not to come looking for me. I guess you really want to find me. Well, here's the thing. You only found this page because I wanted you to. I left those news articles for you to find. It was a bit easy. I hope this teaches you a valuable lesson. Not everything on the internet is real. But I do have one thing to tell you that is real. If you don't stop looking for me, then people are going to die. And in case you don't believe me, here is the proof. Goodbye. Okay. When we visited this website last month, those, those those five cities were all in green. Hanover is looking a little, a little deaded. But we don't really know what that means. Uh, I'm sure we'll have just received an email. Yeah, pandemic legacy season three. Um, uh, mm, Hanover. Yeah, Hanover guy be deed. <laughs> no, Paul. We've just got to know Paul. Paul Albrecht. Oh no 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 no. Uh, yeah, sorry, is it Paul? No, it's the son. The son's name was Toby Albrecht. I think I think they'll have killed Toby Albrecht. I think that's what's just happened. It's not Paul, it's Paul's son. Because we've been given uh, this this is the person who's in the coma. That's what this website is probably. We've got a patient in Edinburgh, a patient in Lewiston, a patient in Hirosaki, a patient in Canberra, haven't we? Uh, just looking at these hospitals. Uh, yes, Hirosaki General Hospital. Uh, Toby was in Hanover, Germany. Yes. Uh, Barclay, USA. Oh, no, but Centre Hospital, Lewiston, Maine. And we're in Edinburgh and the other one is in Canberra. Those are the location of these five people. So, Toby, I have a feeling has fallen victim. I'm waiting for an email now. I'm expecting an email to pop through to say, oh no, we've had like Do Dr. Fish or something. How would how would they email you out of the blue? Uh, I'm expecting Dr. Fisherman to say, I've heard from. Ah. Uh, um, they're not going to email. You always have to initiate because that's how the format of the game works. Uh, I'm just clicking around, just clicking around. There isn't anything else on here. I think it feels to me like the end of the month. What? You're not done. Oh. Never gonna give you one. Never. Everybody, I love how everyone was expecting a Rickroll. And so I think you've Rickrolled yourselves there, people. I think mm -hmm. but by by leading into it, you Rickrolled yourself. Um, okay. Okay. Who have you been, who have you been working with um, for a while now? Right, so let's email Arthur again. Okay. 
Hanover Plague Alert. Is Toby Albrecht okay? So, well, what, what did Arthur say about specifically about oh, the housekeeper? Uh, so? Can you e uh, so email me anything you find out about? Well, what have we found out about uh, mm -hmm. Arthur? Uh, so we found out. So there is Mobius Inc. Uh, Hano uh, Hanover is red and and Scully. Um, what have we? What have we found out? Uh, mysterious voice said to stop. Well, said we. Uh, we. Uh, what was the website name again? It was Pro. Uh, uh, I've got it. Uh, it was, I put it in the chat. Well done, Dan. I can just look up in the chat. Proskinsburnedside.com. So I'm going to put that in there. Proskinsburnedside.com. Uh, it's threatening. What else have we found out about? Is it just going to be that website? Let's just do that oh he responded to hanover plague alert though oh no not toby albrecht this is very worrying i'm going to try and find out more about what's happened you've done some really good detective work thank you for all your help i'll be in touch if i need your services again but i don't think there's anything else you can do right now thank you for all your help arthur dunbar oh dear well and that is that is the end of the case. There we go. For today. An excellent, an excellent yeah. week.